So in anticipation of our first Toastmasters meeting online with Zoom, for those of you who did not make it to the test meeting, I just wanted to record a few things that might be helpful during the meeting for you to know. So I'm in the Zoom interface now and you see a myriad of Kevin Shannons because I've got the meeting running on my laptop, on my work desktop, and on my iPad over here. So you're going to see multiple Kevin Shannons. This is the, the laptop that I'm on right here. This is my work machine. This is the iPad. So when you come into the meeting, there's a few things that you want to make sure you can control. If you move your cursor over the window, these menu items appear down at the bottom. You want to make sure that you're unmuted so that people can hear you. And when the meeting starts and people are speaking, you may want to mute yourself, although the person in charge, the Zoom master, can mute everybody in advance. If you're muted, you can unmute by pressing the space bar. It's kind of like one of those old-fashioned microphones. You press the space bar, and you see now you are unmuted and talking. Release the space bar, you're muted again. So that's a great way to do it, I think, and that's how I'm going to do it on my machine. I'm going to mute myself, and when I want to talk, I'm just going to press the space bar so everybody hears me. You want to make sure that your video is uh, running. So here I am in this window. My video is not running, so it's just showing my little icon. I'm going to start the video, and you'll see that I pop up, and there I am in the top corner. Okay. A uh, couple of ways you can uh, uh, manipulate the views here. Uh, you can go from, this is called gallery view, so a large number of people will join, and you'll see little icons. They'll get progressively smaller as more people join. So one thing that you might want to do is you might want to make sure you go full screen. Click there, and it will increase the screen to full screen. And to exit full screen mode, you click there to go back. You can change the view from the gallery view to a speaker view. So now everybody runs across the top and just the person speaking is there. Uh, it works pretty well. So whoever talks, uh, the, it's like the camera cuts to them immediately. So whoever's in this window will be the person talking. I will be able to control the meeting so that when the speaker is speaking, I will make them the highlighted video, which means they will be front and center and nobody you know, if you cough or you make a noise, you're not going to suddenly become the, the primary speaker because I will control that. So gallery view is the way that you want to flip out of things. There are uh, reactions here. You know, I don't know if we're going to be able to clap, but if you clip, uh, click the reaction there, you can see it puts little clapping hands there in case uh, maybe when we do this, you know, people don't hear it. So you can put a couple of reactions there. After a second or two, it goes away. Uh, you can also chat with people and drop things into the chat window if we want to share a link to something with everybody. Uh, if it's set to everyone, you can chat with everyone, or you can select an individual person and just chat with them. And the easiest way to shut these off is to just click the chat button again to get rid of it. Same way. I don't know if everybody will have the option to manage participants, probably just the host, but you see toggle on, toggle off. So those are some of the basic functions. Uh, if you need to troubleshoot your video or your audio, you want to click on these arrows. It will kind of show you, you know, the ability to test uh, and, you know, uh, which microphone, if you have multiple microphones, if you have multiple cameras, which camera you're using. In this case, you know, I'm using the built-in FaceTime camera. So that's just a, a few things. And uh, I'm going to stop this video and jump into another video where I'll show you uh, what you can do when people are sharing screens. So there may come a time in the future when we have a speaker who would like to share some slides, you know, do a PowerPoint presentation. So let me just show you. I'm going to go full screen here. I, as the Zoom master, would pass control to the speaker, which would give them the ability to share their screen. All you need to do if this menu is hidden is move your mouse down to the bottom. It will pop up, and you choose Share Screen. You can share your entire desktop, or if PowerPoint is running, PowerPoint would be one of these choices, and you would just share the PowerPoint slides. So that's an easy way to do it. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump over to my other workstation, and I'm going to share just my inbox here. 
So now you're seeing once a person starts sharing, this is what you're going to see. You're going to see the slides front and center. So what you can do to make it a little bit nicer for a presentation is go up here and choose view options and turn on side by side mode. And what that does is it puts the speaker here. Of course, I'm on a different machine. That's why I'm looking in the other direction. The speaker would be looking right at you. It puts them in this window and their slides here. And you actually have the ability to resize them if you like, make the slides a little smaller, make the speaker a little bigger. That's totally up to you. And when you're done, you just simply turn off side by side view. It really is pretty easy and it's a perfect way to, uh, to handle this.